Oh, hey there, guys. Um, this is a quick teaser for a disc brake, rear disc brake conversion on the 16 through 18 Tacoma. Uh, it might fit older ones, I don't recall. Um, Toyota, in all their wisdom, did some cost cutting, uh, and the rear drum brakes are one of my pet peeves. So I did some research, and there are two companies that I could find that uh, offer this kit. Um, one is uh, Petters, which is an Australian suspension company. I don't think they make it, but they do offer it. It is extremely expensive. Um, $1,800, I believe. I have, there are no pictures um, on their website. It's just uh, CAD drawings. So you really don't know what you get yourself into, and it's ridiculously expensive. Um, they'll give you, I don't know, they might give you like a little bit off, but it's still ridiculously expensive. So that was a no-go. Other company is a small company called SOS Performance. Um, I know they do a lot of Tundra stuff, and um, they do have a, a full Tacoma kit on the website, and I, I think it comes out to about $1,100, which again, to me, is ridiculously expensive too. So, what I did to make it cheaper, um, I sourced the part, most of the parts myself. Um, most everything comes off of a 2010, possibly newer uh, Toyota 4Runner. So that's good. That's good. But um, all you need to get from SOS Performance is the backing plate kit. And then you can get everything you know, from a parts store like Rock Out or whatever. Uh, for the rest of this stuff, um, and there's uh, there's actually two dealership items that you're going to need as well. So I'll go through the, some of the pictures here, and we'll go through the parts real quick. All right, this is not necessary. This is another thing that SOS Performance uh, sells. It's the master cylinder conversion kit, and it's a uh, master cylinder off of Lexus LX the big SUV. I can't remember. Um, and basically what it is, is you have um, a, a, a mounting adapter here. You have um, the push rod here, and this is another adapter, and then there's a couple of bolts and screws. You can buy just this. I don't remember what the cost is, but you can buy just that. Oh, and it also comes with these um, brake line adapters. Are, and you can buy just that, just the kit. Like I said, I don't remember the cost. Sorry, right. my buddy has my GoPro, so, and I'm doing this on the phone, so it might be a little shaky. And this is the master cylinder off of it. And I found it was, I think, the same price or maybe a hair cheaper than and actually getting parts from Rock Auto. Um, don't need it, supposedly, it just gives a better brake feel. Uh, since part of the reason why I'm doing this is better braking performance. I went ahead and did it. So that's optional part number one. I think that's the only optional part. Alright. So let's go through some of the other crap here. Um, brake pads. Whatever brake pads you want to get for the 2002 uh, 4Runner for the back. Uh, I'm a big fan of that brand, Power Stop. Stuff is cheap, and it seems to work very well. Um, hardware kit, rear brake hardware kit. Sorry, I'm trying to go this a little fast. Um, that's all it is. Hardware kit: your springs, your spacers, um, what are, you know, your adjusters, your little grease in there, your your backing plates for the uh, the hold down springs. It's for a 2010 Forerunner. You can see it's Raybestos. Break, you know, aftermarket brake uh, aftermarket brake manufacturer of either make OEM too. Yeah, I'm doing this with in hand. So it's gonna be a little sketchy. Next thing, uh, the parking brake shoes. Parking brake functions an in hat. In hat was the rotor, which is the part that uh, sits up a little higher. It's basically like a little mini drum brake. So you need those. Again, rock auto, centric. Piece of company. Uh, all right. Sorry, I'm digging through stuff. 
Okay, these are the two parts that are from the dealership. These, and let me go up there a little bit so you can get the part number. This is one, they are side specific. That's one part, and these are like, these are the bell cranks for the, uh, the parking brake. Cable goes down in there, and then that piece goes on the back of the uh, emergency brake shoe, uh, the rearward one. That's one side. Like I said, they are side specific. I'm looking for the other one. Oh, here it is. Here is the other side. Hey, look, here's my name. All right, so that's two parts. And here is the other part you need. These are called brake struts, parking brake struts. They go, there's a spring that goes on them, a little like uh, oval, rectangular kind of shaped spring, and they go uh, in between the parking brake shoes on the bottom. They're, uh, like I said, dealership. That's the part number. They are not side specific. Good to go. Second. Ah. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the backing plate. Uh, the backing plate kit. This is the one from SOS Performance. Like I said, um, seems fairly well made so far. I don't know. I'm kind of not digging that. For that's um, where the caliper hanger bolts onto. I mean, I guess it's okay. I don't know. I mean, there is some like tor torsional. Uh, torque on it when you step on the brakes. So we'll see what happens. Um, optional. You can either get the uh, rubber or whatever they are, brake lines, stock ones. I got Stop Tech, same thing, um, for the 2010 Forerunner. Um, I did this because I'd already have Stop Tech brake lines for the Tacoma in the back. And it's a different portion, if that makes sense. Um, and I do like the way they do, they feel. Um, they actually made a pretty good difference. All right. Uh, don't worry. I am going to do a video on how to do this. Uh, the directions that it comes with are pretty crappy. Um, this is about the only part that is uh, worth a shit. Hold on. Let's turn that right side out. Yeah, I'm doing this really quickly. Yeah. Um, the big box. Let's just go over here and look at it. All right, look, there's the Rock Auto. Got off from Rock Auto. I believe most of them is about three hundred dollars per take. Hey, and I'm not gonna crap down. All right, I'm gonna roll. Okay, I'm not gonna go through this. Um, most of those. That's the rotors on the bottom. I just need two. This is all power stop stuff again. Um, you got two calipers, and they come with hangers. We'll open one up. We'll open one up. Uh, I think you can get painted ones, if I remember correctly, if that's your thing. Like, maybe if you have a big brake kit and brake that's on the Tacoma, and you uh, want it to match, you can get painted ones in these. Let me get my finger out of the way. But, caliper and hanger. Yes! Power stop, I believe they are remands. I can't remember. I've had this stuff for a few months, really busy. I've not had time to do it, which is why I'm kind of doing a teaser video, so that uh, I can kind of, uh, yeah, I, this is really bad, I know. I got fingers in the way and everything else. Um, all right, tools. Your good uh, basic tool set is not too bad. Um, I do recommend, so you can do this without this. You see the brake stuff there, the spring uh, tools. Um, that's really all, I mean, I don't know which size it is, but one of these, the little spring-loaded things, stick them in there, turn them, and oh, they pop out. Um, one of those, uh, I really think that's all you're going to need from this drawer. I got a caliper hanger there, may or may not need it, who knows, but, uh, I, I got some bleeder wrenches, I don't know what I paid for those, but I end up, um, never using them. <laughs> um, one thing. Brake line bender. This is probably overkill. You can get some cheaper ones. I don't know, but uh, you will have to break, uh, bend the hard line about 90 degrees, I believe. Um, so it will go into uh, the the holding bracket. There's like a holding bracket for the line, and uh, 
for the hard lead, and then on the other side goes what will be the, for me will be the soft line of braided uh, braided steel or rubber. Um, very optional. It's a master cylinder bleeder. Um, if you don't get the master cylinder, obviously you don't need it. Uh, so there's other ways to do that without tools. I I hate bleeding brakes and I hate bleeding master cylinders. So there we go. All right, that's it. That's all you need, man. I, um, you know, shop around. Like I said, uh, the majority of the stuff is from the 2010 Forerunner. You know, the, the, the calipers, the hangers, the rotors, the pads, and the shoes, and the hardware. Uh, those two parts are the only dealership-specific parts that I have found that I needed. Of course, I have not done this. Um, I'm getting ready to do this, hopefully soon, and uh, we'll have another video then. If you got any questions, man, uh, send a comment. I will do my best at this point to answer. And um, I'll be talking to you again when the wrenches start a flying.